Now, new details on the future of two Rhode Island hospitals. Attorney General Peter Narona announcing today he has approved a change of ownership for Raj Williams Medical Center and Fatima Hospital, but with strict conditions. 12 News Politics and Business Editor Ted Nisi was at the AG's news conference today. He joins us now with what you need to know. Ted? Shannon, Mike, the details on this financial transaction are complex and convoluted, but at stake is the future of two safety net hospitals and the roughly 2,800 workers they employ. This was a deeply concerning situation. Attorney General Peter Narona announcing an agreement with the owners of Roger Williams Medical Center and Fatima Hospital after weeks of tense negotiations. The track record here isn't great. We need to make sure that those commitments are backed by financial security. The for-profit California company that owns the two hospitals, Prospect Medical Holdings, or PMH, is in the process of being sold. But by law, that can't happen without an okay from Nerona, who says his review shows Prospect and the two hospitals are in dire shape. PMH is a highly leveraged company that continues to have large annual losses. The current owners issued over $500 million in dividends since PMH purchased the Rhode Island hospitals, which benefited the shareholders and weakened the financial position of PMH. Back in April, Prospect balked at the AG's demands, even threatening to shut the two hospitals down rather than comply. But on Tuesday, the company agreed to a revised set of conditions. Among those conditions, Prospect must put $80 million in escrow to ensure the hospitals have enough cash. Prospect can no longer charge millions in management fees to the two Rhode Island hospitals, and Prospect must appoint some local board members to help with oversight. I feel like with these conditions, we have made these hospitals as secure as we can make them. Prospect issued a statement about an hour ago acknowledging the transaction has been approved and saying it's committed to high quality health care. Coming up new at 6, I'll ask Narona why he wound up accepting less money from Prospect than he'd initially demanded. Ted Nisi, 12 News. Now a major announcement affecting thousands of workers and patients at two Rhode Island hospitals. Today, Attorney General Peter Narona approved an ownership change at Roger Williams Medical Center and Fatima Hospital after weeks of contentious negotiations with their parent company. 12 News Politics and Business Editor Ted Nisi has been tracking this story all along and he joins us now with the developing details. Ted. This dispute has been getting national attention because Rhode Island is one of the only states where the attorney general has a major say over hospital ownership changes, giving the smallest state some big leverage in this case. Back in April, California-based Prospect Medical Holdings threatened to shut down Roger Williams and Fatima hospitals rather than comply with the conditions Attorney General Peter Narona wanted to put on a potential ownership change. But today, the two sides announced a deal, and Narona expressed no regrets about taking a tough line against the private equity firm that controls Prospect, Leonard Green. Leonard Green wanted out, and the question was, under what conditions? Among those conditions, Prospect must put $80 million in escrow for the two hospitals. Prospect can no longer charge the Rhode Island facilities millions in management fees, and Prospect must appoint some local board members. The track record here isn't great. We need to make sure that those commitments are backed by financial security. In a statement, Prospect largely ignored Narona's criticisms, saying it remains committed to, quote, high quality health care. Originally, the attorney general had demanded $120 million from Prospect, much more than the $80 million in the final agreement. At that point in my discussions with Prospect, they were not cooperating with me. If you want to talk to me about a resolution, I need to understand your numbers. You need to share information with me. You need to be candid with me. Don't tell me. It's all rosy and fine when I know that it isn't. And so when I come up with a number under those circumstances, I'm going to err to my good and their bad. Rhode Island Senate President Dominic Ruggiero, whose district includes Fatima Hospital, was among those who thanked Nerona today for taking this tough stance against Prospect. Ruggiero saying, quote, the Attorney General's thorough scrutiny was absolutely necessary. Ted Nisi, 12 News.